Hello, hello, hello. I am freaking loving this. Um, we just start to, to break through here. Next thing you know, we gotta send troops back. Good thing we well rested them. Oh my god. And good thing this is actually coming through. Oh, I could have moved a different unit. This one may have been able to reinforce. I doubt it. If this one can't make it, the other one probably couldn't make it. So, this one's technically out of supply. In that, like, they're only getting supply because it's beside the ship. Or in a city. We can punch this so hard. You're breaking my heart, Austrians. I mean, what you have deployed is gonna have to be enough. So, this one's gonna train away next turn, and then we'll send this infantry. I'm worried about the mountains, but we don't. It's not like we can spend time. We deployed this this German infantry here. This also means our our fleets are in danger. We can bomb in future turns around Venice, but... Let's talk about France. I'd love to kill this unit. We're doing the turn, quote-unquote, out of order, but... I really did not want to attack this one, but if it means killing a unit, it's got to be done. We could take Calais! Oh, I don't know. Definitely need to use gas attack on this guy. Because he could move to here. So that's attack, attack, and then a fresh unit. If we are going to attack this unit, then we need to fly over its head a little bit more. Oh, I don't like attacking the garrison. That was a mistake. I almost want to step up. Attack. Hmm, next turn, this guy will have a lot of organization. And so will those guys. I mean, clearly the Schlieffen plan is slowly working over time, but it's not actually the Schlieffen plan at this point. At this point, it's basically just what the Germans actually did, except the um, or the Brits haven't showed up in time to adequately assist them. So, I don't know. But now that Italy's in the war, I think I need to deploy a German infantry. I don't know. This, this is all required here. I can't pull anything off the lines here. If I want to keep making progress, and I do want to keep making progress. Which means that it's got to come from this side. Like, how far could I put this down the rail line? Halfway through Germany is not far enough for me to consider doing it. So, first I want to kill this. Great kill. Second, how much orc does this guy have? Two? Is it worth hitting the healthier one? I don't think so. Once more! Through the breach! Got 
really bad rolls there. We killed two and lost five. We gotta keep this unit at like near dome or, or organization. Um. Yeah, Screw that guy off. I'm kind of willing to sacrifice the Austrian artillery here. It's not going to be sacrificed, but it's like in a position that is uh, far from not sacrificed. Keep those those that infantry as low as possible here. I think we need these Austrians to just catch their breath, despite being in a position that makes it very hard to do so. They can be up improved though. I think this one makes the most sense. He's the most likely to get hammered, whereas this one, he has the general, but he is also in the most compromised position. He could have a lot of heat coming at him, and if you're at like next to no efficiency, it's you just it won't matter. Um, can't believe Italy. Friggin' hate Italy. Why are you so bad? All right. Obviously, I got to deploy some Germans. That gives me the most options. I can go to Innsbruck. Innsbruck will go here. And we'll come over the mountains. We'll come over the mountains. So the Germans obviously need... I should have deployed him. I still should deploy him. That's the best coverage I can see. The Germans need to, to step up and, and cover off in, in Italy, apparently. Oh my god. Oh my god. Italy joins the war. Who would have thought? Let's try to make it difficult for submarines to maneuver by just blocking the whole straight. Again, if the, if the British actually knew that our whole fleet was over there, maybe they would land in northern Germany. But what would they land? Like one dude? Some Captain Admiral dude? Meanwhile, we've got level 3 infantry against level 2 French. I am worried, though. Like, our management. 91. Austria is about to start bleeding out. All of what they do is in maintenance, basically. They've just redlined on troops. So. <sighs> I mean, this, this, this one infantry is superfluous, but, like, other than that, like, I do feel... I'm like, this doesn't... This had to be an infantry to take the control point, but now that... I don't think that they would ever leave without skill... So... But as this wraps up, we're going to peel units off. We've already got one lined up. We're good. We're good. The Ottoman side. I mean, that's just a really good gauge. That's less good. Like, that's well stacked. They want me to attack him, but I'm just going to fortify. And let's spend money on being impenetrable. Who didn't attack over here, anyone? Oh, weird, it wasn't highlighting. Ooh, look at their new look. These are infantry. These are dudes wearing hats. That's infantry. Hell yeah, brother. They look a lot like the other guys, but... Oh yeah, one thing I'm really worried about, I just remembered, is pretty sure 
some stuff happens down here. But whatever, Bulgaria, sympathetic. Fifteen turns. But if they join, then Romania joins the Entente. Bulgaria is this. They're not that powerful, I don't think, is the problem. But it does give the, like, Ottomans another place where they can deploy troops. I think Romania is stronger, so we don't really win in that. And then it opens up another border with the friggin' Austrians. Hopefully by then Serbia is out. Oh, but then this. It's not only here that opens up. It's all of this. Okay, well... Let's, instead of stressing out over it, let's just hit next turn and hope that everything's fine. I do wonder if, like, a strategy is just to, maybe not with the battleships, but with, uh, with these guys. Like, they have a maintenance cost, right? Like, the Austrians, for example, if, like, do I need this sub or do I need, well... Yeah, you do and you don't, I guess. I was just thinking about deleting those units, but you can't delete your battle fleets or you'll, your nation will be sad. I wonder what the idea of attacking... Ooh, attacking uh, Switzerland is, but... Seems like a mountain. Nobody wants to go through there. They come. Oh, we can cut that unit off. I don't know where he thought he was going. It requires that we surround Antwerp more, though. Oh, there goes that Gaddy son. So I think they gave up on Calais. I thought about upgrading that unit. kind of parting like the Red Sea here don't really know what the Russian strategy is obviously it's it's pushing the south oh I zoomed out a little bit so we we missed whatever the hell they just moved I think it was this an Italian convoy stop bombing me damn Anti-air defense? Yeah, who cares about that? Hydroponic howitzer, so a howitzer upgrade? Meh. Um... So... It would appear... As though we can attack that. I mean, we know that they're coming through next turn, but. What do we got here? Trento. Taranto. Um. I don't think I ended the episode, and I think I was supposed to end the episode, and then I got confused. So, again, I gave you a couple of extra free turns, who knows, maybe I'm just getting high or something, and I, you haven't seen any turns, but I'm going to end the episode here.